Hi and welcome to part 10 on this ongoing saga of the Peugeot EP6 or THP150 petrol engine that can be found in the Peugeot 207, 208 and the 308. I believe this engine has suffered from the timing slipping when the vacuum pump seized through possibly lack of oil. Now I should also mention this engine is in the BMW Mini and the Citroen C4, the DS3, the DS4 and the DS5. So it's a pretty common engine. So in this episode I remove the turbo, the turbo auxiliary cooling pump and the exhaust manifold. Now as always I hope this video helps you better understand your car and if it does I would appreciate it if you could give the video a thumbs up and possibly subscribe for future videos. So we'll be removing the turbo with the inlet manifold still attached. So we'll start by removing the coolant outlet banjo bolt and for that it's a 19mm socket. Now there are two copper washers there that easily drop away but technically you should be replacing those anyway as they're the sealing washers. So pop those to one side so it's just so you can see what's actually there so that obviously that bolt has holes in to allow the coolant to flow to cool the turbo and then we'll just do the same again this is the inlet one so just pop that off and again those washers drop away very easily And you think that I'm dropping things here and this is an engine on a stand. If it's actually in the engine bay, it would be quite a quite a tricky business as usual. So when you come to tighten those back up, it's about 30 newton meters. So I put the torque settings further in, on in the video as well. So there's just a record. Okay, and then we can move on to the oil supply to the turbo. And to remove that banjo, it's a 17mm socket. And again, there's two copper washers there that would need to be replaced. So even on the top of the engine, this copper washer still fell away. As you can see there, I'm trying to pick it up. Because say, if that was in the engine bay and it fell down, you'd probably never find it again. So that bolt looks quite tarry. So... Personally, I'm wondering, it's probably not had regular oil changes. Okay, so we'll now label the discharge valve, the connector, because obviously the wiring loom, I'm removing all of it. So I don't want to forget what each of the things are for. So we'll just disconnect that turbo discharge electro valve. And that's what that looks like there. Pop that to one side. And then we've got a bracing bar here, which is partially been undone. So it's a 13 millimeter socket for the bottom one and then a 10 millimeter for the top one. Now, worth noting here, if you undo that with a ratchet, one way ratchet, you may get yourself a bit jammed against the oil drain pipe like I did. But there we are. So that bar's now out of the way. So talking about the oil drain pipe, let's just pinch this and remove it. Now, because I've cut myself on a gasket before, metal gasket, I am paranoid about pulling on that pipe with the aluminium sleeving on it, just in case it slices straight through your finger. So that's why I was making a bit of a hash at this using any tool I had to just try and pull that pipe off. The fear is now deep of cutting myself on gaskets. Okay, so we can go on to the actual manifold now. So that's 11 millimeter socket and there's 10 nuts there. So very easily undone. Normally a manifold can be an absolute nightmare to undo. These actually all came off really quite easily. But then they're not talked to very much. So that one's a little bit trapped there. I did use a longer deep, a deep socket first and then that got stuck on the bolt. So then I had to go onto a short socket. So get that one out. And we have got a couple of 
ones that are sort of buried a bit. Again, because of that uh, oil drain pipe's in the way. So whether you remove that drain pipe first, I think it's only held in by one screw. So it may be quite easy to remove that drain drain pipe because that screw is actually quite accessible. Okay, so we've got another one deep down there. That's number 10 because the turbo and manifold are now moving all over the place. As you can see. So we should be able to just pull that away now. Like so. So the turbo is fixed onto the manifold. I think it's by four four nuts on the other side. Yeah, there's two nuts there and two underneath. So yes, it's four nuts that hold that on. So I can see some white stuff inside the exhaust ports. So we've got some interesting stuff going on inside that engine. We've definitely got bent valves. So there's our exhaust gasket. Those things are razor sharp on a Honda. It was the Honda 4x4 I cut myself on. So anyway, so, yeah, like I said, we've got lots of bent valves in that engine. It's going to be quite interesting when we actually open this up and take the cylinder head off. It definitely destroyed itself. So we've got another label now because we've got an auxiliary electric coolant pump um, here. Apparently they can go wrong quite a lot. So that connector was another way of... Each connector is absolutely different. I don't understand why. They must get a different person to design every electrical connector on a car. So each one is completely different to what you would expect. Okay, so we've labelled that. Pop that out of the way. So that would be coming off next. And then it's an 8mm socket for those two screws. Presumably the coolant pump keeps it going if you turn the engine off and things are all a bit hot. Perhaps that pump keeps going just to stop the turbo from overheating and cooking the bearings. That's just an assumption that is, but they normally say keep your turbo running for a couple of minutes after stopping, don't they? If you've done a harsh drive. Okay, so that's the coolant pump. So now we get the coolant pump drain. That goes back to the oil filter housing there. There we go, that's now away. Yeah, so that's what the auxiliary coolant pump looks like. So there's quite a bit on this engine. That's the only problem, if, if something goes wrong, there's so many things that can go wrong. And then we've got the high pressure feed. So that's a 17 millimeter socket there. That's the high pressure feed for the oil to the turbo. Again, we've got copper seals there that will need to be replaced if you rebuild the engine. Obviously, I won't be rebuilding this engine. I'll go through the timing procedure, and I think it's pretty scrap after that. So we just take this one. This is the coolant feed to the turbo. Pop that off. There we are. I think that's pretty much most of the turbo parts all removed and relevant pipe work. There we go then. So we'll have a quick brief look over the turbo with the manifold still attached. So there it is. I've put all the parts sort of back on loosely so you can see all the different parts of it. I'll add some photos of this at the end of the video as well, just so you can see some more detailed information. 
But yeah, so that's the turbo. So this one I've checked in, it actually seems to be, there's no movement on the spindle. So I think the actual turbo is actually okay on this car. It's a shame really, everything was working fine until that timing slipped. Okay, so just show you a quick demonstration of how the vacuum pump regulator works. So if I apply some vacuum here, you'll see it pulls down on that rod and then shuts the valve. It would normally go a bit quicker than that, but the compressors forgot to switch the compressor on. Would have helped, so it was running low on pressure. But there you go, so it's in slow motion now because the compressor's going flat. But yes, yeah, so that's how the vacuum works to shut that valve. Okay then, so here's your torque and other information. And your reference photographs which you can pause to view for longer. So this video covered the removal of the turbo, the turbo cooler and the exhaust manifold on a Peugeot EP6 THB150 and that's in the BMW N12, N13 and N14 engine. Uh, thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to help support this channel. This video was filmed and edited by me, Mark Savage, in January 2024 and I can also be found on Instagram, Facebook and X as Coats and Gators.